All right, so how do these drummers play this kind of thing? This is the sort of drumming style that really captivated me when I first started watching guys do this. And I have been trying to just figure out the formula ever since. I somewhat have a grasp of it. And in this video, I'm going to explain to you exactly what this is. So essentially, these types of grooves are just called 30 second note grooves. You're going to play drum grooves within a 30 second note subdivision. So typically we play eighth note grooves or 16th note grooves. And what's happening with these is you're just gonna double the number of notes in a bar to make it a 30 second note groove. And essentially you're just gonna keep the back beat, a loud snare drum note on beat two and beat four. Easier said than done because you could just do what I just said and it would sound like this. What we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you three patterns that will help you sound more creative, diverse, musical, talented. These patterns just sound much better to play. I'm going to start by showing these patterns in a basic way, just give you a kind of a skeleton to kind of work on the muscle memory, get going. And then we're going to expand on them to make some really cool sounding 30 second note grooves that will make you sound like Lewis Cole, JD Beck, Yusef Days. Let's get right in. So this first pattern is called a triple paradiddle. It's a paradiddle rudiment where you play right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, and then you switch it around playing left, right, left, right, left, right, left, left. Get that going on the snare drum, get it comfortable, make it feel very natural. Now we're gonna move our right hand onto the hi-hat while keeping the left hand on the snare. Now we're gonna create a groove from this and make it sound a bit more dynamic. So we're gonna put a bass drum on beat one and we're gonna put an accented snare drum on beat three where you're gonna play a rim shot with your left hand. All the other left hands on the snare are gonna be ghost notes, meaning you play them softly. All right, so now we're gonna double up the number of notes we play in this bar to make it a 30 second note groove. It's the same pattern. The only thing we're gonna add is our open hi-hat before the backbeat. Moving on to the next pattern, we are now going to play what is called an inverted double stroke. This is just a double stroke playing right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. However, you're going to start with your right hand and go straight to your left hand on the second note, creating the inversion. Get comfortable playing that on the snare drum so you can move on to the next bit. You're now going to move your right hand onto the hi-hat while keeping the same pattern. Alright, so let's create a groove from that. We're going to put a bass drum on beat 1 again and an accented snare drum rim shot on beat 3. The last thing I'm doing here is replacing the hi-hat before the backbeat with a bass drum instead. Okay, so let's create a 30 second note groove from this. Again, we're gonna double the number of notes we're playing in this bar, and the only thing we are adding now is open hi-hats on the second part of the groove. This is definitely my favorite one as it sounds really cool.
before we get into the next groove, I just want to mention that I have an ebook available that has several 30 second note grooves that I have thought out and realized that sound quite cool. So I've written them out for you to learn and play. Each groove in this ebook has a link so that if you click on the link, you get a video of me playing it slow, medium, fast. So you can kind of see how I do it. So you can use that as a reference, but it's just a good way to kind of expand on what I've taught you in this lesson. If you do want to learn more and kind of get more into this, I have linked that ebook in the description of this video. For this one, we're going to have a bit of a primer exercise where you're going to play a ghost note straight after a backbeat. This is a tricky concept, but you need to nail it in in order to be able to play some really cool 30 second note grooves. Once you have that down, we're gonna move on to playing this linear 16th note groove. And with that groove as your bass, we can now try playing another really cool 30 second note groove. Alright, so those are just three 30 second note patterns. Once you solidify those, there's so much that can kind of just come out on the drums and sound really cool. The key is to play these really fast to kind of get that cool 30 second note sound. Try those out, let me know how it goes, and then I will see you in the next video.